Hey guys, Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove broken Grub entries on Linux. So I have this virtual machine frozen on the Grub menu. So you can see what I mean when I say a broken Grub entry. So Grub is not able to load this hard drive of Windows 10 that I have on my system. So when I go and select it, nothing is there. And this is because I've recently uninstalled the Windows 10 installation from this virtual machine. And I have this menu here, this menu entry in my Grub system, and I don't know how to get rid of it, you know. So this is how to get rid of it. So start off by loading into your Linux operating system. And this tutorial assumes that you have a version of Linux running. The broken menu entry, it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be another distro, it could be Windows or whatever. But if it's not working and you're wanting, you want to know how to get rid of it, this is what you do. So. Once we load into the operating system. All right, so once you've booted into your Linux operating system, you need to install the Grub Customizer tool. And the information on how to install that is in the description of this video. But first thing I'm going to do to get it working on Ubuntu 18.04 is to add the PPA, and then I will update and install it. And then once we get Grub Customizer going, it's going to be a lot easier to edit and change entries in the grub boot menu. So let's do sudo apt install grub customizer. Let that install and then we will open up the app. All right, so the app is installed so we can search for grub customizer right here, enter the password and uh, it's going to load our grub bootloader entry our bootloader entries. So right off the bat, it hasn't detected our Windows system. And the reason for that is because it knows that it's not there. So what a lot of times, sometimes you might see an entry, a broken entry loaded up in here. And what you can do if you want to get rid of it is just right click and delete. But you may get lucky like I have right here and it will just automatically remove it. So you notice that Windows 10 is not even, it's not even showing up here. So from there, I can just click save and it will save my configuration. Then I can close the app, go to my terminal, and then do sudo update grub. In Ubuntu's case, it'll be different if you're using a different operating system. But the main thing is you need to update grub. And as you can see, there's no Ubuntu, there's only Ubuntu, there's no Windows 10 entry. And then I can go ahead and restart my computer. And uh, then we can look at the bootloader and we'll see the broken entry is no longer there. So as we see, there's only Ubuntu and memory test and advanced options. There's no Windows 10 broken entry that I'm trying to load and it's not working. So that is how you remove broken Windows. Uh, and, and really, it's not just Windows, like just broken Windows grab entries or, you know, operating system grab entries or just broken entries in general. Maybe you added a custom one. Uh, grub customizer is the easiest way because like in this video you saw it automatically detects that it's not working and removes it and also if it doesn't automatically detect it you can go ahead right click on it and delete it anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one